Hello guys, today we make a new style of beer. We make the New England Indian Pale Ale that is also called New England IPA. I hope the pronunciation is correct. For this recipe I want to thank Lord Necrorder because he gave me the advice to try this kind of beer. If like him you have some uh, advice, some recipe that you want to share with us, please write down in the comment. I will try to make the video about that. There is different things about this beer because we will use a mono step when we will put the barley and also we will use the dry hops but we will see this during the video. Now I let you know the ingredients. For the recipe you need 1.5 kg of uh, Pilsner malt, 500 g of hot flakes, 50 g of sugar to increase the alcohol content in our beer, 26 g of hops that is divided like this, 16 g of hops, citra, and 10 g of wild hops that I collect this September. You saw already, you watched already the video. Plus we need in total 10.5 liter of water. Now in the pot I put 6.5 liter of water. When our water reached the temperature, temperature of 68 Celsius degree, we off the fire, we add the barley and the flakes. We mix very well, we cover with a lid and we should wait one hour. This is why we call this technique monostep, because we do only this and we should wait. Don't worry, if uh, the temperature drop off like few degrees, nothing happens, don't worry. So now, when we reach the temperature, we add the, grain, the grains. See you later. After 60 minutes, we on again the fire under our pot. This one with the wolf need to reach the temperature of 76 Celsius degree after we off the stove or the fire and we should wait 10 minutes, 15 minutes and we can collect the first part of our future beer. After when uh, the other four liters of water reach the temperature of 78 Celsius degree, we pour this water on the grain, we mix very well, we wait again 10, 15 minutes and we collect all our liquid, we can say. And after, from this, we will start the hopping. One important thing is that your fermenter should be strong or thick enough to resist to the high temperature. If the plastic is like the plastic from the Coca-Cola or from the water that you drink usually, your plastic will melt. So be careful. See you later.
collect all our work. We put in the pot again like this after that you clean it from the seeds. We put on the stove, we on the fire. When the wort start boiling, we add five gram of hop. In my case, I will use the white hop. Up to you, it's not the hop that you use to give the taste like your maripa. It's the hop that you use for bitterness. And uh, we should boil for 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, we off the fire, we add the 50 gram of sugar to inside and also the 8 gram of cedra hop. The other 8 gram we will keep here in the jar. This is why I put in the jar because I will close with the lid. We will use the other 8 grams in 3-4 uh, days. After that we add the hop and the sugar we put the pot in the cold water because we should drop the temperature like we do usually. Put everything in the fermenter. I check the initial gravity, that is 1054. Now directly in the fermenter, I will put the hop. This is why it's called dry hop. Five gram of hop. After we add the yeast, always is for ale beer, because we will do one Indian pale ale. We close with the lid, on the top of the lid, always the airlock. Inside the airlock, I put the liquor, I tell again because many people ask me. And after we should wait, the fermentation start. When the fermentation start, I let you know. After 24 hours, you can see that the fermentation is running very well. Now we should wait two days and after we will add the other hop inside the fermenter. After three days, the fermentation is slowing down. So now we can add the hop, the aromatic hop, the last eight gram that we have in our jar. We open the lid of our fermenter, we add very fast our hop and we close with the lid. And after we should wait that the fermentation finish. Probably we will need four or five days more. After five days with the hop, the fermentation is completed. You can notice from the airlock that is at level. And also, if you check the final gravity, they put also this yellow sign with the word battle. 
to help us to understand the weekend battle, our beer. So the alcohol content of my beer will be 6.9 because the initial gravity was 1054 less the final gravity that is 1006 we get 48 after i use this uh, fixed number i forgot the name i will write here don't worry if we divide 48 for 7.5 we get 6.4 percent of alcohol content in our beer but because i will add 5 gram in this bottle so it's 10 gram per liter the final alcohol content will be 6.9 some people say that there is different uh, way to measure the alcohol inside a beer i use always this formula because it's easy uh, to use it and also our goal is not to know the exact content of the alcohol but more or less to understand the alcohol content inside our beer so now I will put the beer in the bottle and we should wait at least two weeks. Better if you wait uh, one, two months before that you taste it. But let's see how long I can resist. See you in two weeks. With this recipe, we get five liters of beer. spectacular very very good you can test the hop but not too much for, for me i will add a little bit of more but it's better if you follow this recipe and after you decide next one you can make more uh, add more hop or remove a little bit this beer is perfect with the pizza which pizza this one okay guys Remember to subscribe to the channel, to leave me a like, it, to share this video with your friends. If you try to make the pizza, let us know in the comment. If you try to make this beer, let us know in the comment. If you have some advice, write always down in the comment. Bye bye. Very, very spectacular.